Praise the Lord. Once again, we are here to share with you the scriptures. That is from the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 1 down to 8. It's about a demon possessed man that was healed. If you read the scriptures, and if you have time, read everything, then you can then understand what I'm talking about. And I want to situate it into our situation. This man was born a perfect man. He was born with a future. He was born with dreams and aspiration. He was born with expectation. Like how we all entered this year with expectation. But somewhere along the line, something happened. Demons managed to have control over his life. Then men tried to help. They took control over his mind, took control over his body, took control over his action. And what we tried to do, like us men would do, we tried to solve the problem. They bound him with what they knew could stop him from hurting himself because he was cutting himself. And any time they bind him with chain and with shackles, he will break the shackles and break the chain. He then became uncontrollable. As we try to solve a problem, so that the problem goes out of hand. You use all that you have, the knowledge that you have, the power which you have to solve a problem and you find out that you are inadequate to solve that problem. You don't have enough to solve that problem. Don't worry. It happens to all. The man moved to the tomb and took control over the tomb. Nobody could pass where the man was. He placed a restriction upon the whole city that nobody could go out through that place. The man was cutting himself and was destroying himself. But thank be to God, Jesus arrived at the coast and started walking towards the same area that the man have restricted people from walking. And when the situation saw Jesus, the man came and bowed to him and worshipped him. It doesn't matter the condition in which you are in. It doesn't matter what is holding your life, your business. When Jesus appeared, every knee shall bow. Every knee, whether in heaven, whether on earth, whether beneath, whether in the spiritual realm or physical realm or disease world, they shall bow. When they bow to him, they started begging and negotiating with Jesus that he should cast them. And Jesus said, that the time have not come, is he come to dispossess them? Say, yes, I'm going to send you out. Something the demons comes and want to negotiate that their time have not come. They want to take their own time and finish whatever they want to do. But Jesus appeared and said, enough is enough. You've done havoc to other continents. You've done havoc to other nations. You've done havoc to this man. Now, enough is enough. I am going to set up into the nations of this world to lift up my name and to stop you. He said, what is your name? And he said, we are legion. A legion is more than about 2,000 strong army. A legion. 
But you see one man, but with one man, he created a big problem. A legion. And Jesus then spoke to them and cast them out. The most important thing about this is that Jesus cast out the demon. The man was in his right frame of mind. Now, every attention of the world is on the COVID. We will be in the right frame of our mind. People are afraid. You can't even talk with the next person close because everybody is a suspect of the demon. As if the demon is in everybody and you don't know who carries it. But a time is going to come. This is temporal. The man case was a temporal case. And the situation we went through is a temporal case. People might, thought, might have been thinking that, oh, this man will remain there forever. But Jesus will appear. It's temporal. And he cast them out. The Bible said then, Jesus clothed him. It also means that we will be restored. Businesses might go through trouble. Families may go through situations and problems. We might be going through storms and other things in life. But remember, I say remember that Jesus is Lord. He clothed the man. And when the city people came, for the first time, they were able to enter the territory they couldn't enter. For the first time, freedom has come for people to move to wherever they want to move to. For the first time, they saw the man, but they could not recognize him. Why? Because he was no longer the man that was cutting himself. He was no longer the man who was naked. He was no longer the man who was afraid. He was no longer the man who had panic attacks. He was no longer the man that could not embrace his friends. He became a new man, clothed, and they could not recognize him. Brethren, no matter what we go through, I want you to understand that to every situation, every problem, every havoc that this COVID-19 will do, there shall be a restoration. There shall be a restoration of businesses, of our finances, of our homes, of our family relationship, of our families that are locked outside the world. There shall be a reunion. There shall be a restoration. The man was restored. And this man was not only restored, but was also commissioned. And I want you to know that this is a day of preparation, a time of preparation. Your life may become better than how it began. We will have new lessons to learn as the world we will learn new lessons as nations. We will learn new lessons as individuals. We will learn new lessons, and as a as a as a suburb, we will have to learn new lessons. And these lessons will not be a lessons that will destroy us. It will be a lesson that will bring life. So Jesus, the man wanted to follow Jesus. Jesus said, "Yes, it's good. I've saved you. I'm excited." But there's so much in you that the enemy tried to destroy, but I have restored. And what I have restored to you, go to your friends, go to your brothers, and go to other nations and tell them about the good things that I have done for you. This man, a great man with great potential of 10 city revivalists, God restored. I want you to know that you are more than a 10 city revivalist. 
you will be 10 times greater and mightier than what the enemy did to you. Encourage yourself. This is not the last time. This is not your end. If you lose anything in the course of this COVID-19, don't give up. Don't kill yourself. Don't hang yourself. Encourage yourself because Jesus will appear. God bless you. Amen.